As many of you know, I recently bought this Gravity Bullseye Monster Fat Bike. It was cheap, it was about 500 bucks, but it revealed itself to be a pretty good ride, and it was a great candidate for some immediate upgrades. So here's what I did. Right out of the box, quite literally, I rode this bike for all of about five minutes before realizing it needed a much wider, much lighter handlebar. I ended up replacing both the handlebar and the stem, all for under 50 bucks. The new 720mm flat handlebar is a big improvement and it looks and feels like it belongs on this bike. I highly recommend this obvious upgrade for both form and function. This bike is built on an aluminum frame with 26 by 4 inch wheels. The drivetrain starts up front with a couple of generic chain rings selected by a Shimano Olivio front derailleur and ends at the back with a 9 speed Shimano cassette selected by a SRAM X4 rear derailleur. The shifters are surprisingly crisp given that the whole drivetrain is punctuated with inexpensive components. But then SRAM is well known for this characteristic. I'm happy to stick with this out of the box setup for now, but I have some Shimano Dior derailleurs gathering some dust somewhere, so this drivetrain may eventually get an upgrade. The pedals that came with this bike went straight in the trash. I wouldn't recommend fitting them to any bike. I initially installed a set of flats, but quickly found myself wanting to clip in, so my spare set of Crank Brothers mallets proved to be a welcome upgrade. Lastly, I found that I didn't care too much for the Tektro mechanical disc brakes that came with this bike. While they did stop the bike eventually, I found myself two finger braking from time to time, which is both uncool and potentially hazardous. So to fix the two finger faux pas, I bought an inexpensive set of Shimano hydraulic levers and calipers. They arrived fully assembled, pre-bled and with all the appropriate hardware. The stock hydraulic lines were just the right length too, although for an XL frame the rear line could have used an extra half inch, maybe more. Regardless, both front and rear sets installed in less than 15 minutes. Overall, I'm still ecstatic with this bike. I spent an extra buck 50 on upgrades, but that was money well spent. I still find myself reaching for this bike just as often as my other bikes. However, while this bike is fun to ride, I wouldn't want it as my only bike. As a backup or as a fun alternative, it simply doesn't disappoint and it was a great buy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and click the logo to subscribe. If you want to see how this bike performed on its first ride, click the video in the top right. You might also like to see how the Shimano hydraulic upgrade outperformed the stock Tektro mechanicals on the hill test. As always, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Let's do it again sometime.